Hey guys, TitaniumJ52 here with a Lego mock. This is a Lego house mock I made, and I want to do a video on it, so here we go. Uh, this is my sig fig, who is on the house, and the house has a stone walkway leading up to the door. Uh, on the side here, it has a little driveway here with a Lego version of my actual car, a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, doors open, the roof comes off for easier access. That's really about it for the car, but I thought it was just a nice addition to this house. Um, as you go around, you can see a lot of flowers on this side and also a small tree. This was from that uh, plant pack that Lego was doing a promotion on not too long ago as of the time of the recording of this video. Uh, kind of transitions from these types of flowers here with the green piece to larger flowers that I had. And then we have kind of some overgrowth here and then kind of an empty spot here. Um, and then over here we have the suggestion, or part of a little river, which I really enjoyed making, it was an interesting technique. Um, and then also a little bit of a hill here. And then there's that, that's going to remain a mystery for now. Um, and then we're going to start at the top. The top has a couple of antennas and a little, I guess, um kind of little radiator unit or AC unit that uh, buildings will have on the top. The roof is relatively simple, it comes off like this. That is, that front piece is so that it lines up nicely with the top of the house. And then the top floor, I'll take this off for you, has a bed with an alarm clock, it's kind of hard to see. Um, a little support in the middle, a safe that contains some money, and then on the other side, a TV set with a little dresser underneath, and then a ladder to the lower floor. Uh, no windows except for these front ones with the angle, which I thought was an interesting way to approach this building. Um, next floor is the kitchen slash eating, uh, but we're going to start on the outside first. Outside has a pl potted plant, some fencing, and then two seats with a plate and a couple of glasses, and the plates can can uh, turn. They're on these jumpers here, and uh, the table, if you'll notice, is offset by half a stud. I uh, did that using some jumper pieces and some tiles. There are the new um, 1x3 jumper pieces with the two studs, but I didn't have any of those available, so I went with that. Um, over in the kitchen here we have a little table just in case it's raining outside with some bread and a coffee mug and a couple of seats. Uh, we have a kitchen with a carrot, a banana that's in there, a stack of plates, a sink, a stove, Yes, that is the Minecraft furnace element. Then a little refrigerator with a newspaper. Um, in order to open the refrigerator with your big fig hands, you have to go through the window and open it that way. But inside you can see a couple pieces of bread, a little soda that's supposed to represent a Mountain Dew, and then there's a couple other things on the shelves. And yeah, and that and this floor is also modular, and it comes off like so. And you can see a bit more of the bottom construction. And then the ground floor, this kind of a lounge area, have a couch with two end tables, a couple of mugs, and a lamp. And there's not really much else here. And you, this is where the ladder goes, so this is plain. But you might be wondering, now why is this here? Uh, well, this lever you can pull down, and it becomes a ladder to the basement, which, if you guys can guess by my name, is a 
Secret Ninjago area. You guys know I love Ninjago. It's in my name. Um, so yeah. Uh, let me see if I can get the light a bit more. It's kind of hard to see in there. But there are um, four little Ninjago symbols in here. There's a J face from the Jin Blade, a Hypnobri symbol, a Zane face also from the Jin Blade, and the Venomari symbol down here. Uh, let me try and get that out. Uh, here it is. And then there's a little stand for the Sword of Fire. Um, and over here, two dragon banners. A nice little training area to practice. And you guys remember this bare wall in the back? Well, that's because there's an entrance to get out. And when the house is covering it, it can um, flip up and you can get out. Um, one of the more interesting things about this floor uh, is that I had to leave that in there because the way I built the base and the way it lined up with everything it I couldn't add the 1x6 plate in there so I had to improvise but I think it turned out all right um, overall this mock was really it was really different for me uh, I had recently just built a black trend mock video coming soon and so I uh, thought I'd undergo something completely different and I thought this would be a difficult challenge But it turned out to be really really fun and different. I really enjoyed doing all the nature builds here and The river and everything and I think it turned out really well um, Comment your thoughts down below and if you want to see more mocks then please let me know in the comment section below this is TitaniumJ52, thank you all for watching, see you in the next video.